previously. Huh? What is going on? <laughs> on Master Duel Masochist. Chalice isn't bad. That's actually like effect negation. We don't have a lot of that. Plus there's like the damage step tricks too. All right, at least we got a Chalice, right? Chalice is at least like a playable card. I don't know if we want to play it, I'll be honest. What is a deck? A collection of cards that is an extension of the player? A tool used to win tournaments? A reflection of oneself? What gives a deck meaning? The individual cards? The number of victories? Or what about the will to never give up? Does a deck inherently possess meaning? Or do we as players assign meaning to the deck? Can we create meaning from nothing? What if we created a new Master Duel account, ignored the starter decks, and restricted the account to the minimum amount of Master Packs possible to create a legal, although not necessarily playable deck of 40 main deck cards and throw ourselves into ranked? If we somehow miraculously defeat an opponent, we can upgrade our deck with one additional Master Pack. Can we achieve something like this in Master Duel that only a masochist would try? I guess there's only one way to find out. This is Master Duel Masochist. But what we actually need to start with, as a matter of fact, is we need to start with our deck. Because if you weren't here yesterday, or if you haven't been here in a while, we actually pulled a new card that we need to add into our deck. And that card is actually a copy of the all-powerful Forbidden Chalice. One of our few pieces of actual effect negation and uh, battle manipulator... We need to throw this card in. So the question is, what are we cutting for a copy of Chalice? That's going to be the hard part. We need to make room for Forbidden Chalice in the deck. And uh, Zoma is going, courtesy of the Twitch chat. Eddie X Rosa decided to gift an absolute metric shit ton of subs. And that is what Eddie X Rosa wished to uh, see gone. So Zoma is no longer in the deck. We've made room for Chalice. Let's save and let's play some Masochist. Well, that's a bad start. <sighs> I want to see what they end on. If they end on like a mid board, we could maybe like back to square one and just like maybe make something happen. Brain infusion is just so hard to beat though. Double allure. Oh. Well, Beast isn't going to make this easy. I feel like it doesn't even matter because they have banishment. Oh! That's not bad. Okay, I think I have to set both. Oh, I probably should have shotgun that. I didn't think about that. I think I do this now. Is it Grave too?
Probably should have done this backwards. I should have flashing fired first. Then they do this. Then I chain prison. Banish. Because now they get to tribute this. Yeah, no, we're dead. We're dead. I fucked up the order there. If I did that back... Oh, no, they still get attributed anyway. So I don't think it would have mattered. Not bad. Not bad. It sucks that we already have Bear Grum for resonance, but... Okay. This is just Snake Eye. I had my hand on it. I had my hand on the... <laughs> the concede. We're not wasting time. We're not wasting time. We already wasted time before. Now we're not wasting time. Well, I don't like that I have both Gokis in this hand. Okay. Okay. Pass. Please pass. Oh, it's fucking Lab. I can't beat Lab, dude. I can't beat Lab. I can't beat Lady. I literally cannot beat this card. That, I, I guess I have Prison. I guess I have Ice Dragon's Prison, so technically I could beat it, but... <sighs> it's fucking super heavy. This is insane. This is the true embodiment of Masochist, that we're doing this a few hours before the reset against everyone who's tryharding. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know... This is just what the series is all about, right? Wow, this hand sucks. This hand is awful. I do not know how much of a chance I'm going to have against this. Oh, it's Speeder. No, nah, we're done. I'm not waiting around for Speeder to resolve. Oh, there's the Chalice. Maybe the Chalice will actually help us win a game. Oh, okay. Here we go. It's happening. That's not bad. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We could just try to clear with Cyclamen. This is a plant, isn't it? That sucks. We can't get it with ball game. Um, I think we're just going to do this because, like, we don't really have, like, a better play right now. And then I think I'm just going to set these two. Hope that we can Dynomicious something to summon Lab Archfiend, and then we should be okay. I can titch, I can pitch ball game for the Dynomicious. Because we don't even have an Insect to summon off of this anyway. It was Blue Eyes. So that's probably like a... That's probably a White Stone that we banished with Time Breaker. It's fine. Wait, they added one? They only added one, right? I'm not crazy. From your hand, field, or graveyard. Well, they're going to pop stuff anyway, right? They're going to get to pop before I get to do anything. So I have to do this now and hope we're just good enough.
Oh, it's face up. Oh, well, we kind of fucked that up. This is okay, though, because now we can summon Lab Archfiend. Oh, this is unaffected by traps? Mm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter that we did this, then. I'm going to get Cylinder. I think we need to high roll them a bit if we're going to win this. So ideally, ideally, I think I want like a, like Gamma Seal would be okay here. Bear Grum would be not good because we don't have like things to summon it. That at least, oh, we get the Time Breaker back. Wait, this outs it. I forgot about this. We might be okay then. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. This is sick, too, because it gets a monster off the field for Rescorpio. Okay, so this is probably Whitestone or Kid Moto. It's Whitestone. Okay. So the problem with Whitestone is they get a Blue Eyes off of this, unless they specifically go for Dragon Spirit. They have Blue Eyes still in hand. That's their last card. Because didn't they fuse Blue Eyes from Grave and Chaos Max for the Tyrant Dragon? And they revealed alternative. So this is a blue eyes in hand. Went for dragon spirit. Okay. That sucks. Uh, the problem is if I chalice this, they can tag out for blue eyes and then I lose the chalice. I think I just let this go. The best case scenario here is they just don't tag out. And they just attack with Dragon Spirit. And in damage, we Chalice our Rescorpio to kill the Dragon Spirit. Well. We've got a lot of things that can get us out of this situation. It's not bad. Okay, so Time Breaker keeps coming back. We just keep this thing out of there. We just, we, we keep that out of the game. Botanical Girl can get us to Camellia. Which gets us, like, partially set up for Bear Grimm. So I think we just have to hope that they don't have anything else to do. Okay, unfortunately, they remember that they have Whitestone, which sucks. Would they target Spirit? It's fine. Oh, Jesus. I actually think I chalice this. Are they just going to summon another one of these things? Plus one dragon. If they make another one, I feel like it gets harder to out. Yeah, I think we chalice this. Well, chalice proving its worth. We got draws. Okay. We're getting somewhere. I'm seeing if there's any other way I want to do this. Man, if I had another Goki, this would be so much better. All right, I know they're drawing blue eyes. So we blank this draw. Come on. It's not bad. Okay, we're gonna send Horn Needle 
because they actually have the capability to special summon. Their hand is bricked, so let's hope it stays that way. Chaos Max was the other card. Gonna come down to it. Yeah, we're probably dead. Uh, we're dead, right? Camellia can do another send. Technically, we're not dead. They need another monster to kill us. So I'll make them have it. They're a hundred off. There it is. Oh, man. That sucks. That felt winnable. That felt winnable. All right. We'll make it see some more chalice action. If they're leading long one, maybe there's a chance. That's beatable. That's beatable. Okay, the problem with this hand is I have too many cards that require me to discard cards. I need to like plan this out. So we have to go... Ugh, this is gonna suck. I have to do it this way. They're gonna do this. They're gonna go bear. I have to waste three cards out this Baron, which is just doesn't feel good. But at least I can out it, right? Let's just hope we can solo. And then Dynamicious just like carries us. Their hand must suck though, if that's all they did. It might just be like two hand traps. That's annoying. It tributes for quick effect, so we can't do it here. Nice draw, by the way. I can stop this. Let's just hope. Big monster, big monster, big monster. Come on, come on, come on. That's also like, we can work with that. We can work with that. Okay, please whiff a draw. Please whiff a draw, please whiff a draw. Please whiff a draw. Please whiff a draw. Please whiff a draw. You know what's really funny? If they just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Man, if they put it in attack, uh, we could have done some fun stuff if they did that. If we actually walk with this, I'm going to be shocked. Okay. Um, I don't even know if I make Exceed Dragon here. We just need him to whiff a draw, honestly. I think I just have to hope. Please whiff. They have so many good draws. Just draw like a fucking... I don't know. I don't even know what... To, draw another hand trap. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah, we're dead. Ugh. The only way we get out of this now is if... What, Magic Cylinder? What do they even have to bring back? They don't have many good targets. Oh! We did it! <laughs> they DC'd! <laughs> oh, thank you. How did we walk with that? How? How? Oh my god. That was all chalice. That was all chalice. I, I am stunned. Oh, and we're rewarded? Don't mind if I do. <gasps> we have four Gokis. Holy shit. We have double Suprex Twist Cobra Rescorpio. I don't know, man. We might have to put the Gokis in the deck now. We have four Goki Insect. We might have to. I don't know, man. That seems too good to me. Makonko, Saber Reflection, Phantasmal Martyrs, Equation. What's all the spells? That's crazy. Last stand. Okay. Please. Never lucky, man. Never lucky. Twist Cobra is kind of insane, though. I might have to put in all the Gokis. Four Gokis seems like I have to play them. Because one gets to all of them. Tau. It's not bad... It's just not great. It's an out for Eternal Soul, I guess. God, could it have just been like MST? That'd been too much to ask for. I'm just saying, we have four Gokis now. That seems pretty good. Do we play? Technically, we have five, but this one sucks, so we're not playing this one. I don't know. That seems insane to me. I'm trying to think of like what other cards in our deck like don't do a ton. It's like, Vesiculo's only good because we have Dianea. Dianea at least has a good body, but Vesiculo is just weak. It just doesn't do anything. Theoretically, it could reset Floodgate Trap Hole, which is kind of funny. Um, or it could, like, use some... It could um, summon itself off of that, I guess. But, like, I feel like Vesiculo literally doesn't do anything most of the time. So now that we have Twist Cobra, we're going to put in our max Goki count which is our two Suprex, our Twist Cobra, and our Rescorpio. Because if we see one, we see all of them, assuming they don't get, like, banished. We're gonna cut Aether. As crazy as that is, like, Aether does banish. I feel like we do have a lot of, like, things to deal with it. And I'm gonna cut Vesiculo. It's weird because it's, like, anti-synergy with, like, Dianea. Even though Maneater Bug is slow, Vesiculo at least, like... Vesiculo did nothing. Man Eater Bug at least can pop a monster. So I might revisit this, but I want to try this with the Gokis first, and we'll come back. I do want to cut Man Eater Bug at some point, but I want to do this for now, and we'll see what happens. Also, for the record, I have never... I do not think I've done the Dianea Vesiculo combo in, throughout the entirety of me playing it. Maybe once. Excuse me? Oh! It's a masochist! Oh my god. It's on! The challenge has begun! 
All right. We have to do it. We have to do it. Final boss. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, now we, we can't play around anything. It could be literally anything that we're playing against. I think I'm just going to time breaker this. I want them to commit to the board. If they're a masochist, I can set this freely and not worry. I need to save this Dynamicious for the Clock Tower Prison because if this gets to four, I don't think I can win the game. Ideally, I'd like them to use like some sort of removal to target this and then I do this. That's insane. That's 1950. Okay. All right. This is fine. Oh, it's on. It's on. Oh, uh, this is going to get annoying. The problem is I don't want a solitary sword because if I do that, time breaker is going to come back and the sword is going to fall off. So what I actually think I'm going to do, I actually think I'm going to do this. Contributing. What is this? That's a fucking problem. This card's insane. Man, saving the chalice for this would have been a lot better. I have very few outs to prison, though. I might have to let this run. This is going to get bad. If I just get to Bear Grum, I'm fine. I really hate the anti-synergy Solitary Sword has right now. It's kind of irritating. That's insane. That's actually insane. It's fine. You guys ready for this one? Oh, this is going to get nasty. Normal Dragon Bite. Summon Resonance Insect. Geo Mathmech Magma when we need him most. Resonance Insect effect to add Beargrum. So honestly, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep banishing this set just because I can. Okay, I'm making sure this doesn't do anything crazy. I'm going to attack over my own Dianea. Magma effect. That is so fucking crazy. That is so fucking crazy. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so now I just have to worry about whatever the sets are. I honestly shouldn't even do this. No, it's as I thought I should have kept doing that. Shit. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I should have kept doing the first one. I should have kept doing the first one. My thinking was that they see magma, they're going to set something relevant to out magma. That's a UR. I choose one for them to special summon. Sure, they can get the Azathoth back. Are they going to overlay? They are. 
What are they gonna make? Queen Dragon Jin. This is a masochist battle if I've ever seen it. Holy shit. All right, I think it's time we flip this. I think that was like one of their last options. Any monster. Uh, that should still do it, I think. We have to hard tribute this Rescorpio, but it is what it is. And then, to finish the game, I banish three insect and or plants to summon Beargrum to the field. My Trump monster has appeared. And with that fellow masochist, I wish you good game. Oh man, that fucking rocked. That fucking rocked. Master pack, good fucking game. Good game. That was a that was a sick match. That was a sick one. We got to summon Geomathmech Magma, and it was like the most clutch thing ever. Oh my god. Yeah, let's let's check their deck real quick. I kind of want to see. Match history. Wow. Wow. Trag? They had a floodgate, they had a bottomless. This is a nice list. This is a really nice list. This is so cool. I love it. I love it. All right. Let's hurry up and get this master pack. Oh my God. Please, 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 please. Metal Morph. This is actually insane. It's only when it attacks, but Metal Morph is good. This card is actually crazy. Breath of Acclamation, Infernity Inferno. Dark Resonator's not terrible. It's like an okay card. Twilight Ninja Kagen. That card's not really useful to us. Puppet Ritual, Gimmick Puppet. Blaze Falcon, sucks. <laughs> Could we have gotten a playable UR? Monkey Board's cracked, but we can't do anything with it. Metal Morph's insane, though. Metal Morph's nuts. Let's see what we get in the Legacy Pack. Disc Magician Invigoration. Unfortunately, it's not 1999 where this is meta. <laughs> this hand sucks. <laughs> this hand is so bad. Honestly, Concentrating Current might not be good with all the Gokies, now that I think about it. I don't know. Can we beat Vanquish Soul? Probably not. I, we're just... No, this hand is awful. We're not going to do it. We'll just go next. Okay, this hand's pretty good. This, oh, we're going first. Okay. This hand's not bad. This hand's not bad. All right. No storm, no feather duster. Please, 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 please. One time. Please. Like, one time. I even thought about it, too. I'm like, maybe I should just set one. Maybe they won't lightning storm one card. I'm interested. Let's see where this goes. Clearly, they were in no rush to do anything. Okay. Man, this is just like old Yu-Gi-Oh. This is great. Okay. I'll set this so I don't die. That should be the last turn on swords. Yeah. Maybe they should do the little clock animation uh, for swords. So you know when the last turn is. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, 
I have an idea. I have an idea. They're going to have to discard this turn. Okay, they can do that too. Well, what's one more turn at this point, right? Swords expires this turn. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to do this one. Threatening Roar. They're literally just playing, like, stall. I think I unfortunately chain-blocked my own Labyrinth Archfiend. Uh-oh. I cannot believe this is, like, actually playing out this way. Well, I guess they're just going to tribute off the Lab Archfiend, so maybe I shouldn't have done this. This is insane, by the way. Oh no, the resonance didn't trigger. What the fuck? Well, that sucks. Uh, give me Twist Cobra. Obelisk's fucking effect prevented the resonance from triggering. That's insane. This is hilarious that I get to bring this back. That has never happened before. I can't target this. I need something big enough to hit over this. Is this how I kill this? What do we have? What do we have? Do we have anything? I'm going for it. I never thought I would summon this. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Let's try it. Can we fell a god? It worked! We beat Obelisk! I don't know how we did that. All right, this is still far from over, but at least we killed Obelisk. So we can put that on our list of shit we've accomplished with this deck. Man, I really want to get in, but then I lose the Solitary Sword. And they're playing all these dumbass Battle Stoppers. If I summon a guy, we're doing, what, 44? So we have a two-turn clock. But if we do 26 this turn, they go down to 42. So it's a two-turn clock next turn anyway. I'm just going to send it with Gaia Saber. T-Roar. That's why we didn't do it. That's why we didn't do it. Third lightning storm, by the way. Third lightning storm. That means they're out of lightning storms. They're out. Where did that come from? Huh? What is this deck? This can't be killed by battle. This thing's irritating. I really don't want to waste that. I can go Suprex Twist Cobra, but it can't be killed by battle. I might have to waste this stupid removal on this. I'm actually going to do this. I got rid of Raigeki. Holy shit. Okay. I'm going to set this Twist Cobra because I don't care if I lose it. Battle phase. Good. I remembered. I remembered. I remembered. Fuck, dude. I don't know how much more removal I still have. I'll be honest with you. After getting soul crossing, I don't want to commit to the board like I did before. I'll be honest. And they're playing every board wipe imaginable. Should be one more turn on swords.
Oh, that was the last turn. Okay. Now I have to deal with God Slime. Fuck. Can't be destroyed by battle. Can't target for attacks or card effects. Oh! Well, this makes it much easier to kill now. I still need a way to kill it, but it makes it easier to kill than the God Slime. It's too weak. It's, it's too weak, but barely. Am I crazy enough? I can do it all in damage steps, so I think I am crazy enough. All right, let's see what else I got in the deck. Maybe I should have just summoned it and not attacked. Man, they're literally just on, like, the craziest shit imaginable. Well, I'm gonna banish this. I'm probably dying here. Battle step. Am I just dead? If I concentrate in current, I go up to 1,000 attack. And then I chalice myself up to 14. But then he just hits me with obelisk next turn and I'm dead, right? I guess I can wall. Man. That sucks. He has Ra's Disciple on top. That's not good. If they have another god, I think we're dead. You know, <laughs> maybe I should have banished Ra's Disciple. <laughs> We don't talk about that game. Lots of Cherubini decks lately. Do I even bother? Yeah. Surely this will be it. Surely this will be the one. Please. Please, please, please. Oh, we're going first? This will be funny. Shh. They don't know. They don't know what they're getting into. Don't say anything. It's just a conspicuous tea set. It, it's a it's a inconspicuous tea set. They won't they won't do it. See? 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 Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Red eyes. Shh. Go, my man eater bug. <laughs> 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 
It's kind of bad because they want it in the grave, but it's funny. I can't do anything. They just get to add Red Eyes Fusion. We're going to get so cooked by that. And they just pass. They have another one. Okay. Now we can use our lab Archfiend, so that's good. I don't know what to grab here. Um, I have Gamma Seal if it makes something annoying. I'm gonna take Cylinder. This can't be killed by card effects, right? Can't be destroyed by card effects, yeah, okay. Go for Red Eyes Fusion, it's fine. All right, so we still have to deal with three back row, which is terrible. I'll YOLO it. I'm down. Probably shouldn't have put that in the imperm column. That might have been a mistake. If we get punished, we get punished. All right, we got in. I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, is this if I control any monster? If you control monster other than... Yeah, okay. I was going to set Dendrite, but... Necrofusion. This makes the Black Skull Archfiend... Archfiend Black Skull Dragon? Is that what it is? This thing has like 3,200. I think it's big. Yeah. Uh, if it battles, your opponent can't activate till the end of the damage step. I wonder how that interacts with, uh... I wonder how that interacts with Solitary Sword. Because it's like an equip. It's not like it's activating. Cards and effects cannot be activated. Yeah, we knew this was coming. Slash Dragon. Uh, ba, ba, ba. when a card effect directed that targets a card you control, send an equip you control to the grave, negate the activation if you destroy that card. Battle card effect, special administrative grave pops with a equip to this card. That's kind of annoying. I want them to go to battle phase before I do anything. End of main phase. Oh, because it's equipped now. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. We fucked that up. I was thinking it had to be equipped with something that it took. Well, that blows. All right. Lesson learned. They still can't out this, can they? <laughs> I mean, that was funny. Oh, come on! Fucking lame. That's a bit late. Well, I don't feel as bad now if they, if they had Raigeki, because our guy wasn't going to stick around anyway. That's okay, though. We both weren't reading, so now it equals out. Oh God, what does this thing do? Uh, a lot of damage, that's what it does. I don't even want to deal with this. Uh, 
Uh, bah, 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 bah. This is fine. I want this to flip. Target's a card you control. Boy, that was an insect. That would be marginally better in this position. That's fine. Uh, okay. So when this dies, special summon as many monsters from your grave as possible that were equipped to this. So it just summons the gear freed. All right. Whatever. I actually think I want to do this a little bit differently. We're going to go Camellia first. Um... Except during damage step. This might not work the way I wanted to then. I'm still going to send Horn Needle. Okay. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. All right, what's uh what's Comet Drag? Where's Comet Dragon? Uh, sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, target a normal monster grave and special summon it. That's fine. I can't really dodge that, so. I don't think I can. Wait a minute. I'll use each effect once per turn. I thought I was like big braining this right now. Damn, that would have been cracked. I don't think it works the way I wanted to, but that's fine. Um, what's this thing's defense? I think it's too big. No, not that. Where is it? 2,000. Yeah, just a bit too small. Uh, so Beargrim has to get in. They don't remember what the set card is. They don't remember what the set card is. Damn it. Okay. They remembered what the set card is. <laughs> Shit. Oh, we did it! Platinum! Holy shit! Oh my god! I thought when I made that misplay with the fucking... When I made that misplay with the flashing fire, I thought I fucked up. Aside from that, I feel like I played it pretty well. Oh my god, we did it. And only two legacy packs. How disappointing. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout to shout 1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, RIP Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and life keeps using solemn judgment on my hopes and dreams. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.